All right, y'all. So welcome back to the daily. Today we're doing something not performance wise. It's gonna be more as to like audio and sound because this car doesn't have Bluetooth, which is why I bought, bought an aftermarket uh, stereo. Um, everything was rigged. I'll show y'all. Look all of that wire, y'all. That's insane. And then this is gonna be the new wires. So the plan is I'm using the old wires from this one, cut off basically the very ends of it and just connecting the wires with these. Hopefully it should work out ideally. Um, but yes, Danny and I are going to get to this. Fortunately, I'm not recording through my phone just because, um, you know, I mean, through my camera because I don't know, it says memory card lock, so I'm recording through my phone as of right now. It's much smaller. It's yeah, I know, it's a whole lot smaller too. And lighter. It's nice. Yeah. It's crazy how much technology changes. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, so this is where the antenna will plug into. Mm -hmm. That's where that little black thing that I had. Yeah, and then. Mm -hmm. The reds, reds, and whites, and whites right here. Which, I'm gonna show that to the side, because we need those. It's really these that we gotta cut out. This is like exactly like the radio I have on my motorcycle. It's kind of funny. Yeah. And also, this is Android and Apple Smart Sync comp compatible. Update. So Danny had to go buy more bud, uh, connectors for us. So basically, like I said, what we did so it's easier, since there was already an aftermarket um, stereo in here, we just cut off the ends and the wires that we didn't need, you know, that was basically already trash, so we didn't need it. So we cut off the ones that we needed. And basically what we're doing is connecting the, at the old aftermarket stereo with the newer one. And as you can see, all the wires are connecting properly, colors are matching with colors. Um, but fortunately, the connectors we were too short. So, like I said, Danny would go buy some more, and then Danny's buying electric tape. So, we go around it with electric tape because some of these wires I uh, cut too much. As you can see, like in this yellow one, let me bend that over some. You can still kind of see copper, so just to not mess up the frequency, we're going to wrap it up with electric tape. Um, but we're almost done. It's about like an hour and a half job, depending. Danny's been a huge help, so shout out to Danny. Everybody needs somebody like a Danny. And then now. When we're done, that would just plug in right there, the antenna right there. And then also, I got these little cool thing for the microphone, so when I'll use like Hey Siri and stuff like that. Um, I don't know where I wanna plug it yet, so we're about to find out. Um, gosh, I don't know where to put it, but oh well. Um, may or may not use it, but might as well take advantage of it, right? So, we see I'm about to mess with it, get back with y'all. Uh, while Danny's buying the stuff that we need, I'm gonna find where I'm gonna put this microphone at. So yeah, give you a little current update. Hope you like it. Okay, so give you a heads up. So I decided where I wanted to put this little speaker. Since there's like a little gap right there, I could just enter it in. I think I'm gonna use 3M tape or just tape, kind of do it like that. I think that's what I'm gonna have it. But we see. Once Danny comes, I think I'm gonna use electric tape just for now, so the electric tape kind of blend in with it, camouflage it. So, just went on Danny. Um, hopefully soon, cause I'll work out five, but things almost done. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul. Can you dig any deeper now? Now, um, Bluetooth and I 
gonna try that out because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be working. It's pretty loud. So Danny and I are gonna make everything pretty with electric tape, make it nice and pretty. Um, that's gonna wrap it up. There's not much left to do, but it's pretty nice. Something basic. That's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you like it. Super easy. If you have any comments, if you wanna install an aftermarket system, I may or may not have the answers because what I did, like I said, where's it at? With it, since I already had an aftermarket uh, sound system, I just basically cut the wires off that and um, put it connected with the newer one, with the new system, just because it had all the colors we needed and you just match the colors, that's it. Something simple. It was really easy. All right, y'all. That's everything. Everything works. Um, Danny and I tested it out. Let's see if I can go to the radio. But there you gotta go. Hopefully I don't get copyright, but yeah, everything works. So, and everything's a nice snug fit too. We had to like rig some things to make it work like the old one. So the old one has this styrofoam that's preventing this bottom dash from going in all the way. So we took that off and now it's all like a nice snug fit. So that's good. Um, when I go to work, I'll probably see like, put my foot to the metal, see if it, like, if it comes out or anything. So we can adjust little things as well. But as of right now, everything works. That's what's important. Uh, it was actually quite simple. I have my electrician with me, Danny. Shout out to Danny Reed. He's also the cameraman as of right now. Um, also, as you can see right here, I got the little microphone that comes with it. I just got electric tape for now to let it blend in. But uh, I plan when I get off work is buy 3M tape and having that uh, 3M instead and replacing that electric tape with that. Um, and it's quite cool too because like you go in here i don't know if it's supposed to but like literally my hand can fit right in in there to make everything nice and pretty that's where i have the extra wires going in as well but that's gonna that's just me installing my new radio pioneer it's cool smart sync as well so like i download the app and i literally just pretend my phone so danny's recording my phone my camera's working i went like that with the uh bluetooth settings and it synced up automatically it changed the uh time and then like when I use Siri, it syncs with that too. And when I use uh, Siri Maps or Apple Maps, that works as well. So that's really cool. Um, and then like for the sound wise, it actually made my sound system in my car a whole lot louder. So that's really good. And like the bass, it turns out I have bass. I didn't even know that. It's, it shocked Danny and I. I didn't, but that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you like it, comment. Uh, if you're in Norman, Oklahoma, hit me up. Like I know Connor did, same thing with Fix Nick. Shout out to y'all again. Uh, I need more subscribers, so please subscribe, like, because this dude is going broke. Um, hopefully, I get monetized. <laughs> but, yeah, so this is my long dream project car. The next thing now, at, since I got the radio stalled, I have a coder intake. That's going to be the next thing. After that, I'm kind of, like, on a tight budget, get ready for summer classes. So, hopefully, maybe I can start a GoFundMe. GoFundMe now. But, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share with friends, like, comment. You're Norman. Hit me up. I'm out.